A suggested definition of software patent has been proposed by the Foundation for a Free Information Infrastructure as being a patent on any performance of a computer realized by means of a computer program. There is no legal or conclusive definition for a software patent. Globally the situation is more complex and reflects varying cultural views of invention itself. Most countries place some limits on the patenting of inventions involving software, but there is no one legal definition of a software patent. For example, U.S. Patent law excludes abstract ideas, and this has been used to refuse some patents involving software. In Europe, computer programs as such are excluded from patentability. Thus European Patent Office policy is consequently that a program for a computer is not patentable if it does not have the potential to cause a further technical effect beyond the inherent technical interactions between hardware and software. There is a debate over the extent to which software patents should be granted, if at all. Important issues concerning software patents include whether software patents should be allowed, and if so, where the boundary between patentable and non-patentable software should lie, whether the inventive step and non-obviousness requirement is applied too loosely to software, and whether patents covering software discourage, rather than encourage, innovation. Background a patent is a set of exclusionary rights granted by a state to a patent holder for a limited period of time, usually 20 years. These rights are granted to patent applicants in exchange for their disclosure of the inventions. Once a patent is granted in a given country, no person may make use sell or import, export the claimed invention in that country without the permission of the patent holder. Permission, where granted, is typically in the form of a license which conditions are set by the patent owner. It may be gratis or in return for a royalty payment or lump sum fee. Patents are territorial in nature. To obtain a patent, inventors must file patent applications in each and every country in which they want a patent. For example, separate applications must be filed in Japan, China, the United States and India if the applicant wishes to obtain patents in those countries. However, some regional offices exist, such as the European Patent Office, which act as supranational bodies with the power to grant patents which can then be brought into effect in the member states. And an international procedure also exists for filing a single international application under the Patent Cooperation Treaty, which can then give rise to patent protection in most countries. These different countries and regional offices have different standards for granting patents. This is particularly true of software or computer-implemented inventions, especially where the software is implementing a business method. Early example of a software patent. On 21 May 1962, a British patent application entitled A Computer Arranged for the Automatic Solution of Linear Programming Problems was filed. The invention was concerned with efficient memory management for the simplex algorithm and could be implemented by purely software means. The patent was granted on August 17, 1966 and seems to be one of the first software patents. Jurisdictions Substantive law regarding the patentability of software and computer-implemented inventions, and case law interpreting the legal provisions, are different under different jurisdictions. Software patents under multilateral treaties Software patents under TRIPS agreement Software patents under the European Patent Convention Computer programs and the Patent Cooperation Treaty Software patents under national laws Software patents under United States patent law. Software patents under United Kingdom patent law. Australia in Australia, pure or abstract methods of doing business are not considered to be patentable. But if the method is implemented using a computer, it avoids the exclusion for business methods. Non-primary source needed Canada in Canada. Courts have held that the use of a computer alone neither lends nor reduces patentability of an invention. 
However, it is the position of the Canadian Patent Office that where a computer is an essential element of a patent's claims, the claimed invention is generally patentable subject matter. Europe within the European Union member states the EPO and other national patent officers have issued many patents for inventions involving software since the European Patent Convention came into force in the late 1970s. Article 52 EPC excludes programs for computers from patentability to the extent that a patent application relates to a computer program as such. This has been interpreted to mean that any invention that makes a non-obvious technical contribution or solves a technical problem in a non-obvious way is patent to believe in if that technical problem is solved by running a computer program. Computer implemented inventions that only solve a business problem using a computer rather than a technical problem are considered unpatentable as lacking an inventive step. Nevertheless, the fact that an invention is useful in business does not mean it is not patentable if it also solves a technical problem. A summary of the developments concerning patentability of computer programs under the European Patent Convention is given in as a response of the enlarged Board of Appeal to questions filed by the President of the European Patent Office according to Art. 112b. EPC. Concerns have been raised that the new Unified Patent Court will be much more open to patents generally and software patents in particular. Germany in April 2013, the German Parliament adopted a joint motion against the growing trend of patent officers to grant patents on software programs. United Kingdom United Kingdom patent law is interpreted to have the same effect as the European Patent Convention such that programs for computers are excluded from patentability to the extent that a patent application relates to a computer program as such. Current case law in the UK states that an invention will only be regarded as an invention if it provides a contribution that is not excluded and that is also technical. A computer program implementing a business process is therefore not an invention, but a computer program implementing an industrial process may well be. India In India, a clause to include software patents was quashed by the Indian Parliament in April 2005. Software patents are not accepted by the Indian Patent Office. Japan Software-related inventions are patentable. To qualify as an invention, however, there must be a creation of technical ideas utilizing a law of nature, although this requirement is typically met by concretely realizing the information processing performed by the software by using hardware resources. Software-related inventions may be considered obvious if they involve the application of an operation known in other fields, the addition of a commonly known means or replacement by equivalent, the implementation in software of functions which were previously performed by hardware, or the systematization of known human transactions. In 1999, the allowance rate for business method patents at the Japan Patent Office reached an all-time high of roughly 35%. Subsequently, the JPO experienced a surge in business method patent filings. This surge was met with a dramatic decrease in the average grant rate of business method patents during the following six years. It lingered around 8% between 2003 and 2006. Since 2006, the average grant rate for business method patents has risen to the current rate of roughly 25%. New Zealand In New Zealand, computer programs are to be excluded from patentability under a 2010 patents bill, but guidelines permitting embedded software are to be drafted once the bill has passed. From 2013 computer programs, as such, are excluded from patentability. The as such wording rules out only those software-based patents where novelty lies solely in the software. Similar to Europe, Philippines in the Philippines, schemes, rules and methods of performing mental acts, playing games or doing business, and programs for computers are non-patentable inventions under SEC. 
22.2 of Republic Act No. 8293, otherwise known as the Intellectual Property Code of the Philippines, Russian Federation in Russian Federation according to Article hash 1350 of the Civil Code the following is not patentable to scientific theories and math methods, 4. Rules of games and methods of playing intellectual and economic activity, 5. Software for computers, South Africa in South Africa, a program for a computer, is excluded from recognition as an invention by Section 25 of the Patents Act. However, this restriction applies only to the extent to which a patent or an application for a patent relates to that thing as such, and should not prevent for example, a product, process, or method which may be implemented on a computer from being an invention, provided that the requirements of novelty and inventiveness are met. South Korea In South Korea, software is considered patentable and many patents directed towards computer programs have been issued. In 2006, Microsoft's sales of its office suite were jeopardized due to a possible patent infringement. A ruling by the Supreme Court of Korea found that patents directed towards automatic language translation within software programs were valid and possibly violated by its software. United States The United States Patent and Trademark Office has granted patents that may be referred to as software patents since at least the early 1970s. In Gottschalk v. Benson, the United States Supreme Court ruled that a patent for a process should not be allowed if it would wholly pre-EMPT the mathematical formula and in practical effect would be a patent on the algorithm itself, adding that it is said that the decision precludes a patent for any program servicing a computer. We do not so hold. In 1981, the Supreme Court stated that a claim drawn to subject matter otherwise statutory does not become non-statutory simply because it uses a mathematical formula, computer program, or digital computer, and a claim is patentable if it contains a mathematical formula and implements or applies the formula in a structure or process which when considered as a whole, is performing a function which the patent laws were designed to protect. Due to different treatment of federal patent rights in different parts of the country, in 1982 the U.S. Congress created a new court to hear patent cases. Following several landmark decisions by this court, by the early 1990s the patentability of software was well established and in 1996 the USPTO issued final computer-related examination guidelines stating that a practical application of a computer-related invention is statutory subject matter. This requirement can be discerned from the variously phrased prohibitions against the patenting of abstract ideas, laws of nature or natural phenomena. The recent expansion of the Internet and e-commerce has led to many patents being applied for and being granted for business methods implemented in software and the question of whether business methods are statutory subject matter is a separate issue from the question of whether software is. Critics of the Federal Circuit believe that the non-obviousness standard is partly responsible for the large increase in patents for software and business methods. There have been several successful enforcement trials in the USA, some of which are listed in the list of software patents article. Several successful litigations show that software patents are enforceable in the US. See list of software patents for more examples. Purpose of patents for the U.S., the purpose of patents is laid down in the constitutional clause that gives Congress the power to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries. For Europe, there is no similar definition. Commonly four patent justification theories are recognized, as laid down for instance by Matlup in 1958, which include justice to the inventor and benefit for society by rewarding inventors. Disclosure is required in return for the exclusive right, and disclosure may promote further development.
However, the value of disclosure should not be overestimated. Some inventions could not be kept secret otherwise, and patents also prohibit independent reinventions to be exploited. There is debate as to whether or not these aims are achieved with software patents. Proposals In seeking to find a balance, different countries have different policies as to where the boundary between patentable and non-patentable software should lie. In Europe, a number of different proposals for setting a boundary line were put forward during the debate concerning the proposed directive on the patentability of computer-implemented inventions, none of which were found acceptable by the various parties to the debate. Two particular suggestions for a hurdle that software must pass to be patentable include a computer program that utilizes controllable forces of nature to achieve predictable results, a computer program which provides a technical effect. In the U.S., Ben Clemens, a guest scholar at the Brookings Institution, proposed that patents should be granted only to inventions that include a physical component that is by itself non-obvious. This is based on Justice William Rehnquist's ruling in the U.S. Supreme Court case of Diamond v. Deere that stated that insignificant post-solution activity will not transform an unpatentable principle into a patentable process by this rule. One would consider software loaded onto a stock PC to be an abstract algorithm with obvious post-solution activity while a new circuit design implementing the logic would likely be a non-obvious physical device. Upholding an insignificant post-solution activity rule as per Justice Rehnquist's ruling would also eliminate most business method patents. Obviousness A common objection to software patents is that they relate to trivial inventions. A patent on an invention that many people would easily develop independently of one another should not, it is argued, be granted since this impedes development. Different countries have different ways of dealing with the question of inventive step and non-obviousness in relation to software patents. Europe uses an inventive step test. See the inventive step requirement in Europe and for instance, T258-03.